Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas is the completest, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's a, uh, it's been a good day, good day. My sons is in town, you know. They having fun. They got to see some of their family. They're gonna get to see some more before they go. You know, it's been a beautiful day. But you know, I gotta start the holiday season off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you already know what I'm playing. You already know what I'm playing. <laughs> Christmas and Hollis, man. I do it every Christmas, man. Every Christmas. I got to do it on the show, man. You already know. But either way, man, I want y'all to I put a Q&A, you know what I'm saying, on the Spotify and the Anchor FM, you know what I'm saying, polls. I created a poll, man. Tell me which, which, what's the best thing to do. The best thing to do for the holiday season, like something you must do. Like, it don't, you don't, it don't matter about what, what else. It don't matter what the fuck else you do, but you have to do this specific thing. I want y'all to hit the, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to hit the um, the comments, you know what I'm saying? And tell me what you think. For me, personally, you know what I'm saying? Every holiday season, I got to I gotta watch my Rankin Bass films, you know what I'm saying? I got to watch my Rankin Bass films, you know? A Year Without a Santa Claus, you know what I mean? Rudolph the Red, Road, Red Nose Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Jack Frost, you know what I'm saying? Um, Baby New Year. You know, those, those classics, you know what I'm saying? Santa Claus is coming to town. I, the, I, it's a must. I have to watch them. It's not a holiday season for me if I don't watch those films. I don't have to do shit else, but I have to watch those films. That's just me. But I want y'all to hit those comments and tell me what's up, man, you know. But, you know, you know, movies, films, comics, you know what I'm saying? That's me. That's my thing. So I'm about to get y'all hit to what just came out Christmas Day. You know what I mean? There's some stuff that hit theaters and there's stuff that hit streaming. You know what I mean? So, first, you know what I'm saying? We got Glass Onion, the Knives Out um, story. You know what I'm saying? The sequel, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, the film that came out in 2020. Um, I believe in Santa. That just dropped on Netflix. Um, Matilda the Musical just dropped. Um, the Witcher, Blood Origin um, series just dropped. Um, and The Recruit. You know what I'm saying? If anybody watched the Black Adam film, the actor that played Adam, Adam Smasher, you know what I'm saying? He got his first little, um, you know, film, you know what I mean? I'm going to check that out later. I ain't watch it yet, you know what I'm saying? But I've seen some decent um, reviews, so we'll see what's up with that. And there was also some other movies that came out, like Puss in Boots, you know what I'm saying? Christmas film. Um, um, I mean, there's other films that didn't come out, you know, exactly on Christmas Day, but I'm sure I'm missing something. But, you know, um, Strange World, Violent Night, you know what I'm saying? That was action-packed and kind of humorous for me. Um, and there, there's some more. I know I'm missing it, but whatever. <laughs> but it's a great holiday season, y'all. You know, you got your Grinch. You got your Grinch stole Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all jumping back into October and watching The Nightmare Before Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't care what nobody says. That's a Christmas movie. All my Die Hard fans, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I agree with y'all. It is a Christmas film, a Christmas, uh, the first the first one, at least, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about the rest of them, but Die Hard is a Christmas movie. And there's a bunch of them, you know what I'm saying, that I feel like are Christmas movies, you know, um, when it comes to, you know, the, you know, the actual setting and concept of the storyline. Yeah, it was it's a Christmas movie. My sons have watched Home Alone at least ten times in the last forty eight hours. They love that for that movie. I listen, I anybody that grew up that's a nineties baby, you know what I'm saying? Eighties or nineties baby, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all know how classic Home Alone is, man. It, that shit is generational, man. It, our children love this shit. <laughs> but um Avatar The Way of the Water, you know what I'm saying, is still um the highest grossing and not still, but I'm not gonna say that because it just came out. But um it took it took over the spot, you know what I'm saying, for Wakanda Wakanda Forever, you know, grossing um five hundred million, you know what I'm saying, and um over the weekend, you know, um not not even not this weekend, but the debut weekend. And then now it, it got way more it generated way more money since then. 
But it's a great, it's a great movie, man. It's, it's doing what it was gonna do. I, I mean, some can say that anticipation is what gave it this turnout, but that's what that's what a good story brings. A good story brings, you know, what I'm saying anticipation. You are gonna get people from everywhere that are coming by the shit just to see it, even if it does suck to whoever. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I get it, you know, but it was a great film, man, and it's still doing numbers. Now, Puss in Boots, I ain't go see it yet. I had a busy day, so I couldn't go see it. I'm probably going to end up seeing it um, sometime this week, probably on Monday. Um, but, you know, Puss in Boots is, in my opinion, the greatest thing to come out of the, you know, fairy tale universe, man. A lot of, I just had to tell my younger cousin yesterday like because he said no it's all about shrek i was like listen we ain't gonna disrespect shrek i ain't gonna do that but when we talk about fairy tale films you know what i'm saying all of these fairy tale fable stories you know what i'm saying created a pathway for shrek puss in boots is an actual fairy tale it's an actual fable you know what i mean that's been out for for decades you know what i'm saying and the fact that it got a sequel, man, it got me excited. I can't wait to go see it. You know, I can only imagine the creativity, you know what I'm saying, that DreamWorks done hit this film with. Antonio Banderas don't do Puss in Boots character. No wrong, dog. I'm telling you. <laughs> but the, the episode isn't going to be that long today, you know, because um, honestly, it's a holiday season. I don't want you to, you know, spend all your time listening to me, you know, even though that would be cool. But nah. This is time for everybody to spend with their family, even for the ones who are down on themselves today. Listen, it's just a holiday. It's just spend it with the people that you love, even if that is just with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't take all this gifts and glamour and all this extra shit to heart, please. It's not. It's nothing. Like, honestly, if it wasn't for my sons, I would not be interacting with this holiday at all, except for watching my Rankin Bass films. <laughs> that's it so I really want to wish everybody a Merry, a Merry Christmas man and um, even the ones who don't have the means or the family you know what I mean I, that this is this is especially to you you know very significant to you because I really do mean that for y'all you know this world is tough we made it to the end of the year man it, we still got time to go. We, it, it, shit ain't stopping, y'all. It ain't stopping. So take this time to spend it with the ones you love. Talk to the, to the people you love. Don't be stingy. Don't be holding grudges. Don't be petty. It's, life is too short, man. You know, some things are unforgivable, man, but you can forgive for yourself. You can let it go because you don't have to deal with them. But don't be harboring that shit and making it, you know, and don't and be projecting it out to everybody and just fucking up your energy everywhere you go. Don't do that to yourself. But, you know, this is the completest, man. Go check out them films, the all them films I named, man. It, it's, it's crazy. You know, we getting to the first quarter of the new year. That's when a, a lot of some new shit going to drop, you know. Tune in to the next episode. We're going to talk about um, some animes, and we're going to um, talk about my um, new hauls, man. I picked up some new shit. I'm going uh, to um, be on it with my man, Spawn Prince. You already know what it is, man. Tune in, man. Click that, not that notify button. Like, subscribe, share, all that good shit, man. I, I appreciate the love, y'all. And for real, have a good Christmas. You know, love yourself, man. This 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 life is precious. And don't and people forget that the whole point of this life is to create a bloodline to make sure that it flourishes. Even if you don't have to create a bloodline, you still have to love yourself to the point that you can help affect someone's life positively, and then that spreads the seed to some beauty, some more beautiful shit. Either way, we all got a part to play. And com the complete us out, man. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Feliz Navidad. You know, ha happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. You know, all that good shit. Anybody, um, you know, anybody that, you know, don't celebrate the holidays, I feel you. 
you know, but I still want to throw you throw some positivity your way as well. No, but either way, man, remember to love yourself, love your family. Don't stress about the shit you can't control. And peace, man. Deuces.